friend named Bree. She has a toy called Pink Pete. She likes to go in her bed she plays for a while and then talks about when she's sick. So she says that she likes it like that. No man can provide for her like that. She knows that it got particular for her clitoris. Er, she's er, 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 trying to be like her because she knows what she really likes. No man can do with her so it's pinky all night. To be honest, it's a vibrator that is better than him or a motherfucking her because she knows what she likes, like the Terminator, it's a machine, oh, no, <laughs> go still slow, and she speeds it up a little, man, we don't know, <laughs> we hear the moans, and a little bit of yelling, and we leave her alone, because it gets just a little annoying, <laughs> we think, man, she starts in the thing because we hear the notes real hot. We're like, man, we didn't see a guy. Right and two and through her door. So when we walk in bed, she's lying on her floor. Let's go with on. We thought you were making a song. No way. You were playing with your toys. That's fucking sick. We thought it was a boy. <laughs> you call it the rabbit. We ain't trying to mess with that shit because even when you get it, like they say, it reverses out with pink ink, like a swing skip. We know what you like, and it's pretty gross because you're yelling it all night, and, well, we aren't even out of the house, and if you wonder, we hear what's from your mouth, because you are so fucking loud, it's a little annoying, don't ask us how, we hear, because you could hear it down there, yeah, you know, they probably get to stay here. <laughs> you just know what you want. That is a little rough. You knock your computer off your desk and then put Pinky up your butt. <laughs>